We are back for some Sham scoops time. We also want to preview a couple of games, Sham. So talk to me about Joel Embiid. What's the latest? So he missed their last game. They swept the Brooklyn Nets. And there is optimism that he'll be able to play in game one of their next series against Boston, I assume, or Atlanta. We'll see if they're able to make it through <laughs> or come back. But uh, he had a sprained <laughs> knee. Um, and I think they believe this is about a one-week injury. And so assuming the playoffs start next weekend, this upcoming weekend, the hope is that Joel Embiid will be in the lineup. But, yeah, he, he went down a few times in that Nets game three. Uh, but thankfully, it wasn't anything major. I mean, there's some big names first round of these playoffs with injury issues, Chandler. But as far as uh, advantages earned by sweeping the Nets, how big is that one for Philadelphia? Well, it's huge for the obvious reasons that their best player is day to day and is dealing with something that's lingering. And every day that goes by, hopefully he's getting more healthy. He, their whole team that's banged up is getting more healthy. They're watching more film. They're, they're getting more prepared. So they handle business. And, and again, they just eliminated any problems with going into a deep series. That they're, they're basically on ice and watching whoever they're going to play next, which is looking like Boston. And uh, they'll be hopefully Joel will be ready. And that series is going to be a blast. I mean, we say goodbye to the Brooklyn Nets, Eddie. Um, it, it was a tumultuous season at the very least. I don't want to say, is it a success? But as far as, what, you know, if you had to describe this Nets season, what are you giving it? Um, A restart. <laughs> That's probably what I'd call it. I wouldn't call it a success. You, you traded away two all-stars, including maybe the best player in basketball. You... Uh, it had an under 500 record after that, and you got swept. That's that's not successful. That's frustrating. You came into the season with championship hopes, with ideas of adding new pieces in the middle of the season and and winning a title. So in that sense, yeah, it's a failure. But I think they have a ton of potential going forward. I think they have something in Michael Bridges. Uh, if if he's a number one on a contender, I don't know. It wasn't the greatest uh, results, uh, but. They have a ton of flexibility, and if they can dupe somebody into taking that Ben Simmons contract, they might have uh, Damian Lillard or Trey Young or someone else to star on that roster next season. But uh, it's it's highly dependent on that. It doesn't help that Joe Harris couldn't throw a rock in the ocean in that series either because that's one of the contracts you'd have to trade to go get somebody to. But uh, they have the flexibility. They have the opportunity. They have a ton of picks to work with. So they have something building. I tried telling Spencer. I told him yeah, they had no. They had no chance. <laughs> finally, I, finally, I got one right. Yay, Chandler! And that's at the expense of a friend. What an awful human! Uh, <laughs> you hate to see it. You, you hate, hate to see it. it.